Hello? There we go. Trying to figure out why my microphone is not working. Hello. Welcome to my city world. I might need to get a new mic, honestly. I have to unplug it and plug it in again. Like, nah, I don't like that. Sheesh. Yeah, no, I sometimes I just want to beat up the mic because, like, why is it not working? I have to just cut, like, my headset and the microphone are two separate things. So I have to, like, um. Like right then, it just disconnect. I was over here just talking, it just stopped. That's the thing I don't like. Like I'm over here talking, doing a sentence, and it just stopped working for, for some reason. I have to like unplug the microphone from my headset to then plug it in again, and it's so annoying. Seems good for now, but shit, it's so annoying. <laughs> Welcome to my city world. That's my little baby. My little railroad. Mm-hmm. This this right here is giving me like out so much railroad vibe and I'm so proud of this right here. And you enter the big city and you see a lot of buildings being built. I don't know what to do with this, but I'm just gonna. <laughs> As someone building here, and they just left the world because um, they they committed a crime, and they didn't like it that I had to punish them, and they left. Yeah, this is a city world. It first started with just this plot of land right here. This is the first apartment building I ever built. Right here, this one. And then I just like expanding everywhere else. <clears throat> this is like the supply store. This is a furniture store. And this is a bank right here, another apartment building, um, bakery there, hospital here, pharmacy, community farm, uh, 
the prison you know Starbucks the supermarket the library McDonald's uh, that's the courthouse right there police department fire department federal building finance for Freddy's you know the railroad up there is the amusement park the shuttle train got some more train system over here we got the weapon store there more apartment building we got this clothes store right there this is the spleef game fully works you earn money from here it's like a little game with the shovel and snow you have to knock people down We have the train system there. This is an archery shooting range. You could call it archery, you could call it a shooting range, but it is what it is. This right here is just empty land. This one area is just like, we don't talk about the architects. I guess a lot of stores here you could buy or rent. And the McDonald's right there. This area is literally like <clears throat> beside a mountain. That's because I didn't know, like if I flattened this area out, it would look horrible. More train systems in this area. There's actually a train system down there too. This is my, I always leave a signature when it comes to what I, when I build my city world or when I build a city world with other people is that I leave my signature restaurant. So this right here is my, my restaurant. That's why it's called Jay's Restaurant. Another apartment building. More land. Th this is how big the city world is. This is the main city. But then I have another city that I'm currently building right now that is going to be connecting that city to this city. Well, this is just this is just the center of the city. There's also the south portion of the city too. I show you a little bit of the west, the east. Um, it's really not much on the east side besides the community farm. But I know deep south, there's there's stuff that I'm. Um, <clears throat> more work to do too. Got another bank too here. The one that I like too. The one another uh, another thing I like to build. The another thing that I like that I built was the military base. 
it looks like a military base. And yeah, we got more pot of lands around this area. Uh, the one infrastructure that most people like me to build is always the train system. People always want me to build the train system. So I'm like, all right, I'll build the train system. Because the way I do the city world is that I, I build buildings first and then I continue, I start working on building the system. And, and when it comes to the city, you always have that history of like, what's the first thing you build? What's the last thing you build? Whatever the case is. And I'll tell you, this right here is the first ever built station. This one right here. All this track you see right here was added afterwards because I was doing an extension south. And I was like, there's no point of just hop stopping the train right there when you could just push it south. So then I, you know, I extended it more, built it more south. This used to be the terminal, but then I just built the south. This is the first ever station that I built. Everything works when it comes to the track. It's just when it comes to the city, I think it's more convenient to have a system like this that could help people travel to places that might be impossible to get over and it's quicker, more efficient. So this system, I built it for that reason because it's more efficient, more quicker, um, easy to get to, easy to navigate to. Um, and it's also, you know, when it comes to city, people tend to like charge those fa the rides. I don't charge anything. This is literally the system is free. All of this is the old system. Everything is all like. Once you see the newer system, the newer train system, then you'd be like, well, I see the similarity, but I also see how one system evolved to the other system. As I'll tell you, this is the first line that I actually built on the system in the city. Everything is built to be a uh, city vibe. This right here, it used to be another terminal to like I wouldn't continue going north, but since I worked, I worked and I worked to build a lot of these things. So I started just expanding north. Just keep on going north. Then I found a sweet spot. And I was like, you know what? I could use this land to make my second city. So it's like I could connect this system to that piece of land and just start making a second city so that's how i progress with this movement and this idea started with the system flatten the land out continue working on the system 
if there's any piece of tracks that I need to rearrange or make it work, I'll do it. Uh, literally, you know, beside this system, there's also a railroad connected that is aligned to this that does a, a similar trip too. <sighs> you know, the ride could range from like a minute to three minutes, depending on which track are you in if you're an express track you'll be there in, in like in no time like maybe like two minutes one minute at most oh one minute or at two minute most if you're on the other track then you probably be there three minutes the thing I, I i'm more like an express type of person so i'm always on the express track because i like to be quick quick and efficient quick moving And you can see how the design change when you're in the main city to this city. The design looks changed. It's different. But yeah, this is this is the start. This is the beauty. So all of this is going to be part of my second city. I have to do some modification. Um, one of the modification is always the terrain. I always call it train edits, a terrain edit. Meaning is that I go around the terrain and I fill in areas that I think would be beneficial for the area that I'm working at. So you see all of this? This was part of the original terrain. All of this right here is part of the original terrain. And then this is the terrain that is on top of. Trying to make it realistic, trying to not make it realistic. This I finished it literally like yesterday. It's like one, this is the newest build, and you can see how the the architects of the city is different compared to the main city. It takes a lot of work, but you could do it. All of this I was working on yesterday. <clears throat> Just make a U turn. Give me a second, y'all. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. All right, so we got the uh, my rare road. The design of this rare road is different then when you go to the main area of the railroad you're gonna see when i'm out when i'm out of this area you see how the the look of the architect is different
And don't get me wrong, the gravel is still there. The gravel is still there, stone brick is still there, the stairs are still there. The one thing I just removed was the fence. Not the, not the fence, the wall. Right here it begins. You see how different it is? You got the different, it's different when you go to the main part of the railroad. Not a lot of people get to see this when I'm, when I'm live. I'm gonna show you guys. Yeah, this is this is literally this is what you guys this is what I see this is this is my mistake. And this is what it actually is. Man. My mistake. What it is. This is also part of the railroad. This is what the design is as well. So annoying that it has to be a lowercase s. And yeah, you see this right here? This is all part of it. I, I made more mistake here and I gotta fix I had to fix it. I, there was more mistake here because I was trying to make the train system and then it, the railroad. See, this is a mistake for the, the train system, and this is the train system. I never got the railroad. This really, this is, this is not a, uh, this, that station is not really a so-called station because it's literally nothing above. You see what I mean? It is a station to really, uh, help people navigate with the railroad. Not really much for
Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out my microphone. I've been unplugging and plugging in again. So annoying. But yeah, um, I was like, nah, let me, um, continue the railroad to the second city, because, like, I was building the second city. So, I was like, you know what, might as well continue the tracks. Um, then I realized that I kind of made a um, little mistake on track work. As you can see here. So then I had to, you know, I had to fix it. I was able to get a fix, but this is what I mean. Like this is this is the railroad right here, and this is the train system. You see, aligned to each other, they're so aligned to each other. And then right here, they split to the designated platform. And then this is where the express track split from the local track. Elevates up. So it could be close to the, the um the ground above. Yeah, the stick is going no but but boom ding have it. And for this one right here, I'm I'm still working on it. On the ground, there's like so many stuff that people don't get to see. Like, like all of these stuff you don't get to see. And I'm saying like, the, and it's quicker with the rail system because it's like you can't walk to the second city. You can't drive to the second city. You can't fly to the second city. There's only the legitimate option is the railroad system. And people say like, oh, we could just, we don't have to, um, ride the system. There's other means of necessary option to, like, no, there's no other option. It's just take the train system or don't go over there. See see how architectural this thing is, it's different. Some of the tracks have their own history. Like this right here is its own history. 
This used to be his own track that used to go straight this way and link up with this. This right here. That got abandoned. And then this right here also got abandoned. And this is what I mean about the architects, like the different, this different styles of how the station looks. Oh, yeah. We might spend the city this way. Who knows? Cause I have plans to go that way too. I know for here we could just end the road here, or we could make a or make a tunnel going straight to here. But then again, it's not gonna. But this is a it's a big mountain, so I don't think it's gonna work. It's like I'm trying to do something. Really much it. I'm glad to be back. I'm on my break right now, so I'll probably be doing more live stream soon. Yeah, thank you guys for being here with me, and I'll see you guys in the next stream. Take care, guys.